Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. It's Mystical Machine Gun. We have Kega Fusion open. And we have a new overlay. Oh, wow, look at that. Very proud. Proud of my artistic effort. I'm definitely not muted. Yes, okay. <laughs> we have completed... Fantasy Star 3. So now we are on to Fantasy Star Adventure. A early 1992 Game Gear game. I have no idea how long this game is going to last. But, let's have a timer for it anyway. Oh, cool. No point hanging around. Let's get into it. two buttons on the Game Gear and Kega actually has a background like you're looking at it on a Game Gear screen but I've cut that out. Let's go with the old fashioned name. Well, at least got the hair colour right. I'm an agent from Paseo on the planet Motavia. One day at AW1268 I got a letter from Ken Miller. Good fantasy name. He's a scientist and an old friend of mine who lives on Dezolus. This is what the letter said. How are you, MMG? I've invented the greatest creation of the century. You have to come and see it. I'm assuming Ken is old. I took some time off from work and headed for Carsonville on Zolus, where Dr. Miller lived. This is a spaceport. There's a girl at the desk. The exit is to the east. So, you're seeing something very similar to... Fantasy Star 2 text adventures we kind of played. So, very similar interface. Very similar controls. Very similar amount of talking for old mystical. Let's get into it. Let's look around first. Let's look around. This is a spaceport. There's a girl at the desk. The exit is to the east. The secretary is really cute. Talk to her, shall we? The next flight to Paseo is in a week. Is there anything to take? Nothing here. Do we have anything to use? I don't have anything. Let's move. We can only go east. Wow, it's very, very similar to the Fantasy Star 2 games. I'm in Carsonville. The road goes north and east, and the spaceport is west. Let's look around. Okay. Looking around repeats the text you get. So let's not do that anymore. He appears to be a tourist. Hey man. Oh, this is a rough place. The Zolians are all liars and the cops are corrupt. A universal thing. Oh wow. West will take us back to the spaceports. Let's go north. Where's all the Zolians on Zolus? It's not a Parman colony or something. This is a translated ROM, which would explain why sometimes we get, this is the centre of Carsonville. There's a shop to the east, and a police station to the west. He looks like a local. Let's talk to the local. There are two real weirdos in Carsonville. One of them is Dr. Miller, who lives near here. The other is Lucero, who lives in a cabin in the wilderness. Okay, so the guy we want to see is... This is a police station. There's a stairway to the second floor. <laughs> the shady character is staring this way. Leave the peace and security of this town to us. Oh, let's go up. Let's go further into the police station. This is the second floor of the police station. There's a shady looking cop here and a stairway leading down. Everybody looks shady in the police force, apparently. The cop seems almost inhuman. Considering we're on an alien planet, so what? I'll sell you something good for 90 Masetta. I don't have any money. Yes. Okay. The 
There's no way to make the tick speed faster either. Well, let's go east next. There's a Dissolian. Different colour though. They sell everything from food to weapons here. Oh no, we don't want to move just yet. Let's look around, look at the clerk. He's staring this way. What do you need? You don't have enough money. Okay, we don't have any money for Dissolian Solar, meat, soda, meat, or the laser gun. Okay. What do we need a gun for? We're just here to see Dr. Miller's invention. There'll be no need for any violence with a corrupt police force and everything. This is the north edge of town. Dr. Miller's house stands before me. The teleport centre is to the east. I remember there's a back button. <laughs> There'll be nobody to talk to. Dr. Miller. This is the doctor's house. The door on the north end goes further inside. There's a beautiful girl. She's probably 17 or 18 years old. Quite a beautiful girl. There's something shiny around her neck. Considering the, the back portrait of us has grey hair, we should probably stop checking out the secretaries at 17 years I'm Ken's younger sister, Lila. My brother's in the back room. Okay, maybe we're all younger though. Use this to buy anything you need. Lila gave you 30 masetta. Thanks. You can buy meat. This is Dr. Miller's lab. The doctor's here. There's a large machine covered in cloth next to him. He's eccentric and thinks of little other than his inventions, but he's a good person deep down. I did an old man voice for him, not knowing that he's not an old man. Oh, you're here. I really want to show you my invention, but my throat is dry as a bone. Would you mind getting me something to drink? I think we know the solution to this mystery. And there's no possible way for him to have a drink in his own house. Good hosting, Dr. Miller. Music's not too bad. Unobtrusive. Or the, uh... Well, let's... Let's buy a soda. I like that item get noise. Thank you, here's your Dizolus soda. Soda. God. As soon as I say Dizolus, I don't want to say D's anymore. Come on, this is mobile gaming. I want to, I want to quick texting. <laughs> Action packed, I know. I won't show you anything until you've had a drink. Ah, ah, Dezona soda. Thanks. I feel much better now. Let me show you my invention. The doctor removed the cloth, revealing a strange machine. It's the doctor's latest invention. This is my invention, the Enhancer. It doubles the abilities and strength of human beings. Isn't it great? Okay. What's the plot? Okay, let's take it. Okay. Let me talk to Lila. Okay, my brother's in the back room. She said that before. Okay. I'm inside of the teleport center. She's cute, but doesn't seem like the outgoing type. What does it matter if they're cute or not, dude? Jeez. There's a card slot on the door. The system can't be used without a card. Only lab staff can use the teleporter. All right, fine. Nice headset, though. I 
love those lightweight look futuristic headsets where they just they almost look like just thin wire they look like they'd be really comfortable to wear all day as opposed to these bulky things I'm wearing now not that they're not not that these aren't comfortable but they're not what I expected Road goes east and west. There's a sign here. Caution! The east beyond here is nothing but a frozen wasteland. Where else to go? This wasteland stretches as far as I can see. There's a cabin far to the north. I'm in front of the cabin. It's a run-down cabin. The door isn't locked. The interior of the cabin is dreary. There are doors to the south and east. There's a man inside the room. He seems friendly enough. The area beyond here is no place for tourists. You'd best be on your way. The man won't let me through. Okay. So... <laughs> Not really have much of a goal here. Yes, well, we're not leaving here for a week. No dialogue has changed now that we've talked to Miller. Oh, there you go. We, we've met both weirdos. Lucky us. That looks like an angry gnome. It's the nose, I think. Right, well, I think we've thoroughly investigated everything. Okay, here we go. As I entered the doctor's house, Lila grabbed my arm. A bunch of men burst in here and took my brother. And the enhancer. <laughs> Please help my brother. How are you, Moon? How are you doing? Yes, uh, obviously they went with the uh, text. You know, they just went with, this is the best way to fit it. Is there anything to take? Actually, an institute was trying to buy my brother's invention. I believe the name was Baron Labs, but my brother feared that they would abuse it, so he refused to sell it to them. Do you want to, like, give me some money, Lila? Okay. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm a, I'm a bit unwell, so we'll see how the voice holds up with so much text and speech. But uh, I'm struggling through because I wanted to... I wanted to stream. So Baron Labs, maybe the teleport center knows something about this. Nope. Kind of blows my mind that somebody might be watching me walking home or on the bus or on the train. <laughs> Should we talk to the police since our friend got kidnapped? I did choose a graphic adventure. I'm, I'm, I'm playing the series in order, and this is what came out after Fantasy Star 3. So in between Fantasy Star 3 and 4, there was Fantasy Star Adventure and then Fantasy Star Garden. So. 
Baron Labs kidnapped Dr. Miller? I don't believe that. The director is a great man. You're useful. <laughs> this guy doesn't even care that our friend was kidnapped. He just wants to sell us stuff. Right, back into the frozen wilderness. No idea where Baron Labs would be. Been everywhere possible on the map so far. How far did you get in uh, in Thor last night? I didn't. I didn't manage to catch it last night. How's the laptop holding up? Right, Lucero. What? Doctor Miller's been kidnapped. All right. Our labs is up ahead. Be careful now. My name's Lucero. Should something happen, contact me on this radio. I'll help you out. Lucero handed me a radio. Ah, two dungeons away from the end. You were saying it's a short game. Yeah. Once you've had one issue with a with a PC or a laptop, it's like it's like the trust is gone. If it helps you feel any better. This old clunker I'm using has had many a blue screen. Sometimes it has a chassis intrude error, which I don't even know what that means. And I just restart it and it keeps going. So, you know, things have got a lot more uh, reliable. This is the edge of the wilderness. Lucero's cabin is to the west. It's a card-shaped wireless radio. Okay. Ooh, we're in a maze. Oh, no. I'm on a path below the cliff. There's a Dizolus cat here. It's a Caterivorous cat. We'll need the laser gun for that. I'm in the forest. There are many large trees. It's difficult to see ahead. It's around 50 meters tall. Many branches extend from its thick trunk. Oh god, yes. Sounds like it's been a long, sticky summer there. Let's not use the radio. No one to talk to. Can we climb the tree? Okay. Maybe we'll just call Lucero here. I hear Lucero's voice through the radio. Have you found a doctor yet? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Unfortunately, here in Australia, we're, we're looking at a El Nino summer, which means it's going to be wetter. Like lower overall temperatures, but it just means it's going to be more humid. Probably a lot like a Tokyo summer. Oh. oh my gosh, look at that. There's a whole other bit of menu I didn't know about. Tech speed. Fast. Thank you. There's a map. Oh my god. I didn't know this was here. Password. Okay, so I guess that's how you save your. Oh god. Imagine typing that in on a Game Gear. Oh, no, no. Don't talk about humidity. All right, we've got 50 HP and 20 Masetta. I had no idea there was that whole other menu there. We've got to find a way to get another 70 Masetta. Baron Labs? Isn't that where they develop new weapons? It's in the mountains to the east. Well, there you go. At least there's new dialogue. If you want to go to the Baron Labs, it's a quick trip from the teleport centre. Oh, we can buy meat, though. I need meat. Thank you. Here's your meat. <laughs> Let me solve this.
solve the problem. Also, we got faster tech speed, which makes me happier. Yeah, we're we're starting the spring weather, which just means it's wetter and hotter. Here. It's not the best. Should we use the meat on the tree or on the cat? You reckon? Use on self. <laughs> the Zola's cat began to eat the meat. It probably won't attack. Now it's distracted. I'm on a mountain path, there's a building on the summit. Be barren lab, surely. I'm in front of the building. It's too tall for me to climb. I hear Lucero's voice through the radio. Have you found a doctor yet? Oh, we can go west. There's a tall fence here. A power supply is on the fence. It's a tangled mess. If the power is cut off here... Okay. I don't have a way of messing with that. What? There's an axe here? Come on, game. Okay, try and take things on screens where it tells you, doesn't tell you there's anything there. We're cutting down a 50 meter tall tree. I chopped off a branch with the axe. Take the branch, okay. It's a strong, thick branch from a tree. It won't break easily. Let's go mess with some wires then. I have no idea how long this game is. It might be very short. In which case, we'll jump straight to garden. Okay. Which I, I know is a more involved game. There's no point in doing that. Oh, okay. Use the axe on the switch. What's the use of pointless destruction? Okay. Use branch on barbed wire. I'll vault over the fence. And then the branch at the fence, it bursts into flames. The fence is charged with electricity. Oh, come on. Use axe on self. <laughs> oh. Nothing here. Oh, my branch. Okay. Right, really try and take things on screens. Okay. Okay. We do anything else on this screen? We use the axe again. Okay. So we have a renewable source of branches. case of trying the branch again. It's useful for no fans, star face paint look How are you going? Everybody's fresh faced. They just wear headbands and have 80s mullets in this game, so there's no point in face paint unfortunately. I mean look I just I just look like this guy. I don't even need, I don't need face paint at all. Right, 
Lucero. Distant cousin of Lacromus. Okay. Hang on. This. Okay. We've discovered that this ga the game likes to just hide things. Oh, there's got to be something somewhere. Got a barbed wire fence to get over. Our friend has been kidnapped. We have a card shaped looking radio. Use radio. I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Getting over a bit of an illness. So if I sound a bit husky, that's why. This is the doctor's sister Lila. Your sister by anything you need. Good God. 30 Masetta. Please save my brother. Give me more money. Ah. more money, Lila. Daddy Masetta is not enough. This guy sells a laser gun, but it's 95. Use axe on clerk. Won't attack a defenseless opponent. All right, fine. Okay, I know I can go for the teleport center. It really doesn't do much for me. This is just repeated dialogue. And this guy's just going to offer to sell us something for 90 Dare I? Dare I? Dare I look up hints already? Has anybody played this before? Okay, maybe the secretary knows something. Axe on sign. It's the use of pointless destruction. Get out of here. At least there's a map. I'm trying to figure out what we need to use the branch for. Like just gets set on fire when we try and jump over the fence. Could I use the branch on self instead of on the fence? It's all his cat is growly, but he still lets us go past. The reason why I'm taking on every screen is because there was randomly an axe on that screen. Okay, use branch on self. There's no point in doing that. Look at the barbed wire. It's too tall for me to climb. There's this switch here. There's a tall fence here. A power supply is on the fence. Look around. There's nothing to take. You cannot use the branch on the switch. You cannot use the branch on self. Can't use the axe on the switch. If we 
call Lucero. He doesn't help us. Stuck already. <laughs> Taking all hits. Uh, using the axe on self gets pointless destruction message. If we try and use the uh, branch on the barbed wire, it just bursts into flame. Won't break easily, but it will get set on fire easily. Hmm. There's a laser gun for sale, but it's just, it's just, just need a hint. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, I jumped in early. So the schedule says I'm going to be on soon. Um, my wife's put the kids to bed. To, I've done a lot of double put downs lately, so she's putting both kids to bed. So I was able to start early. Buy the meat. Talk to the man. Go to the cabin. Look, man. Talk, man. Look, phone. Give the meat up to the cat. Myself a hint. Got myself a hint. Let's go. By hint, I mean I looked up what to do. I'm quiet. It probably won't attack me. So Lila gave us another 30 Mercedes. Which is not enough for a laser gun. But it is enough for another soda. Refresh your thirst. There's only in soda. Zola's his favourite soda water. Blech. I hate soda water. Something wrong with it. I love water. You drink litres and litres of water all day. Look at the shiny thing. Don't stare at me like that. Looks like I made her mad. So the axe and the stick. What we needed when we get there. A shame we can't use the map to just select where we want to go. Can we do that? Yeah, we can't do that. Okay. okay. What we had to do was use the soda on the switch. So, axe on the switch, pointless destruction. Pouring a soda water on it, fine. When the Zola soda is poured on the power supply, the current shorted out. Okay, now we can go east. At least they let you, like, get the branches over and over again. I vaulted over the fence using the branch. 
This is the front of the building. On the door, Baron Labs is written. There's a fence to the south. This is the rear of the lab. There's a vent near the top of the wall. Looks like that vent goes into the lab. It's beyond my reach. More vaulting? The branch is leaning against the wall. There you go. This is the entrance to the vent. That branch was such a good pickup. The current vent goes straight ahead. I'm, get, I'm getting paranoid about taking on every screen. Small hole. Look at the hole. The hole is about the size of a fist. It's dark below and hard to see anything. Oh, we're on a separate map. There you go. I'm in the vent. There's a large hole here. I can't go forward, but I can go down. It's a pretty big hole. Drug store room. Yes, score. Bottles of medicine line up on shelves. There's a door to the east. It doesn't appear to be locked. Is the door? There's a mono mate. Take it, take it, take it. Got mono mate. We're in the drugs. What does it say? This medicine restores your strength. Okay, great. The vent. There's a large hole. So we can move back up if we need find the shelves. It's an empty room. There are doors to the east and west. It doesn't appear to be locked. There's a slot for an ID card by the door. And there's a rope that they didn't tell us. Got rope. Okay, maybe we can use the Rope with the hole. Okay. What can we do with this rope? Use rope on hole. Rope on East Door. Look at East Door. Look at can't look at the slot. Okay. Use axe on shelf. Maybe we need to call the Sarah for that room. That's not it. <laughs> Let's look at the rope. Hung anywhere using the hook on the end. Okay. Be hung anywhere. Well, we can keep going. We can examine the area. Anywhere from here? No. We haven't got an ID card yet. It's 
small hole is driving me kind of crazy. <laughs> Let me go to the hole. Okay. Maybe while I muck about, it's a good time to press that. Because now we've got a rope. Take the branch back. Use a rope. Hey, there we go. Then maybe we can use the branch on the hole? Use branch on hole. Ugh. There's no point in doing anything in this game. Use branch on hole. Hey! God, this branch is the best item in the game. Laid the branch across the hole. This is the end of the vent. There's a large hole here. The room below looks like a lab. <gasps> it's the enhancer. This looks like a lab. The stolen enhancer is here. The room is fairly big. It extends to the east. It's the enhancer. This looks like a lab. It's fairly big. It's the east. What do you mean we can't take it? Oh my there are a lot of tools used for experiments here. A guard appeared. Oh, sugar. Use what? Axe. I had the axe at the enemy and swung. The dice are back. You did one point of damage. This is just... Okay, so we have to, we have to use a menu option to see our HP. Can we look at the guard? Nope. Let's just keep using the axe on him. That's better, get a three. Take a one. If he's got 50 HP like us, it's gonna take a while. that monomate sooner rather than later. Flashing lights warning. Yeah. We killed someone. Mojic hat is on the ground. That sounds very fancy star to e Mojic. Use the monomate. the east end of the lab. There's a robo guard. Oh yeah, start off with a five. Maybe I should have saved the monomate. Oh no! There's two D, two D, two D six. Oh, look at that though. Roll well. Very lucky with these rolls. Oh, but our luck's gonna run out soon. Yes. It's the east end of the lab. There's a robo guard. Okay. There's no one here. He's staying there. Oh my god. It's the end of the corridor. 
There are doors to the north and west. A guard appeared. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have no idea how much HP we have. You can roll ones, that's fine. We roll better against the robot, come on. Come on, play a character, we can do this. Oh my god. Oof. Looking a bit rough. I think we're getting some Masetta when we do win fights though. Keep track. Oh shit. Wasted a turn. Oh no. Getting punished for it too. Come on. Oh, we're not dead yet. Hopefully the uh, drug room respawns mono mates. Use it way too soon. Ooh. There's a slot for an idea. Oh no! Ah, oh, we can go south. Okay. The corridor extends to the north and south. Four HP left, we're dead. <laughs> <coughs> I think we're gonna die. <laughs> Didn't think I did a death counter for this game. I blacked out. <gasps> when I came to, I was lying on the floor in a small room. There's a man standing before me. I am Baron, the director of this facility. You're a fool to attempt to penetrate this place alone. I'll leave you to my bodyguard. Oh, he looks evil. A strange man leapt from behind the director and beat me senseless. I hope you've let. I hope you've learned your lesson. Don't bother trying to escape. We've already disposed of the stuff you used to get in here. The director and his bodyguard left the room. Oh, okay. The story continues. Please let me know how my voice levels are. Ever since the OBS update. It keeps redlining, but I don't, you know, nothing's changed in the setup. So if I'm if I'm burning your ears, let me know. This room is dirty and smells like mold. There's a door to the south. There's a slot for an ID cover. There's a small hole. This is where we were before. All sounds good. Great. I was, I was concerned. They caught you? Okay, don't worry. I'm on my way right now. Now you control the Sarah. Ah, oh, I don't think so. I, I just want to make sure I'm not too quiet. I'm not too loud, that's all. You must rescue MMG. This is the Sarah's cabin. MMG has to be saved fast. Ooh, he's got enough money for... He doesn't have much HP. Uh, use? Is that a wallet? There's no point in doing that. Okay, look at wallet. Contains 90 percent. Is that enough for the laser gun or was it 95? Let's go to the cops. Should we go to the police? I wonder what happens to that man that said he was going to Baron Labs. Oh, I've got bad news. Zero? We hardly ever see you in town. Baron, oh, okay, that's, yep, he said that. The director sounds like an evil man to me. Okay, use wallet on top. I'll give you a badge that Baron Lab staff wear. I got it on the black market. The cop gave me a badge. There's a symbol of Baron Labs. There you go, maybe we can use a teleporter now. What happens if we talk to Lila? Please save my brother. 
Yeah, that's exactly the same dialogue. You don't care that I'm somebody else? Only lab staff can use a teleporter. Use badge on the secretary. This badge is used by lab staff. Attach it to your clothes. Use badge on self. Okay. Talk to the secretary. Ah, you're from Baron Labs. This card will open the door to the teleporter. Receive ID card. Oh, there you go. Use ID card on teleporter. Nice. There's a teleporter inside the room and a door to the east. Okay, gotta look at the door first. There's a slot for an ID card by the door. The teleporter. There's a card slot on the door. The system can't be used without a card. So use ID card on door. There we go, there's progress. The corridor goes north and south. There's a door to the west. Maybe we won't get attacked. The corridor goes north and west. It's the lab's entrance hall. There's a large door to the south. The corridor goes east and west, and there's a stairway to the north. Now let's go west first. There's a door to the west with a robo guard in front of it. It's an android guard. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Okay. We are definitely unauthorized. This is the hall on the second floor. It goes to the north. And behind me is a stairway. Uh, let's go north. A man suddenly came out of nowhere. God, looks like a creeper, doesn't he? It's the director's bodyguard. My blood boils looking at that man. Ah, I see you've got a badge. You must work here. If you're looking for the director, he's in there. Okay. This is the director's office. Baron is seated on the other side of the desk. That's the lab director, Baron. He's smiling calmly as he looks this way. Why doesn't Miller's machine work? Hurry up and find the cause of the malfunction. Seems that even the director thinks Lucero is a member of the staff. Okay. We've got everybody fooled. Let's try... Yeah. Let's just try and go everywhere. So we came in. D card on West Door. Move West. Ah, and then we're back in the empty room. Does the monument come back? Oh no. No, there's nothing useful. Okay. We can technically go back and get the rope if we need to. Don't think we need to, but you know, who knows? What? Ah. Oh. Gotta use the ID card on the door all the time. This is Metal Gear sold all over again. Metal Gear, even. So use ID card on RoboGuard. That's where MMG is. Not referring to myself in third person. I should have given him a more generic name. Look at the hole. Walking into the hole, I can see MMG. He's trapped in the room below. So let's use the ID card on the hole. Zero dropped the ID card through the hole. Now you control MMG again. Escape and rescue the doctor. I was waiting for Lucero to get me out. Suddenly, something fell down from a hole in the vent. An ID card. 
Then I heard Lucero's voice. MMG, use that card to escape, old boy. So let's take the ID card. Use ID card on door. Hooray. Eat a time. Okay. This is the end of the corridor. There are doors to the north and west. Look at the north door. It's unlocked. Look at the west door. It doesn't appear to be locked. Let's go west first. I think there's a robot guard to our south. Various items are strewn about the shelves. There's a door to the east. east. Got Sonic Gun. Got Axe. Got Magic Hat. So look at the axe. Let's just do the axe. Sonic gun. This gun temporarily disables androids. Nice. And the Zolians can't lie to anyone who wears this hat. So maybe that cop at the front desk is who we need to talk to with the magic hat. Anything to take? Nope. Yeah, here we go. Fight. Sonic gun. After being hit, the android goes limp. room is partitioned by iron bars. Dr. Miller is on the other side of the bars. The director has the key, but security's tight. Thank you, Moon. Yes. I'm putting up uh, a birthday bash on the 10th of October. I'm going to do an eight-hour stream, which is a long time for me. And I decided to go with the theme of Commodore 64 games released in 1982. So feel free to vote for as many games as you want. I'll be collating the votes. And the day before... I will pick the top eight at least. One game an hour at least. And yeah. Uh, yeah. The idea is uh, I'll play the top voted games in that stream. Bit of a, bit of a C64 marathon. I had, a, I had a look at games released in 1982 in general. A lot of crap. <laughs> a lot of Atari like 2600. and like I was like, oh man, I thought DOS games were better in 1982. But of course... I was thinking more 1986 and stuff, so yeah. Decided to go with the Commodore 64 theme. The director has the key, but security's tight. Use my enhancer to increase your strength. The machine needs an item called the Gold Stone to be complete. Lila has it. The truth is, Lila is an android I built. He looks haggard. Yeah, so... I just sort of have a bit of a... bit of... Uh, audience participation for it. Make it a bit different. Take bars. I can't move it at all. Okay. Oh, gotta shoot him every time. Look at this map. It's complicated. Now, Wizard of War is pretty legendary. But that is not the one that everybody knows. It's a different version. So feel free to vote for it if you want to see it. But apparently it is a different... It's a different port. Because the Wild West days of the 80s and the C64, people did multiple ports. They just did it for fun, so... Okay. Let's use ID card on the door. And get out of here. Let's go see Lila. West. Okay, can't go there. How are we going to get back to Lila? Oh, back to the teleporter. I'm key. I'm game for anything. Maybe not so much text adventures, but if everybody just wants me to play wizardry and probably die at it a lot, then that's fine. <laughs> Um, it's a democracy here. Okay, use ID card on the door. Move in there. Use ID card on the teleporter. Well, there you go. Vote for it. Wizardry 1 and 2 came out in 1982 on Commodore 64. So if those two are the top voted games, that'll probably fill up the whole stream. Wizardry 1 would probably take me eight hours. I don't know.
but to talk to Lila. Please save my brother. Look at shiny thing. Uh, oh, I don't have to do this, do I? Sorry, Lila, go to sleep for a while. Lila stopped moving. Oh my god, we shot her. I took the stone from around Lila's neck. Oh, we're bad. With this I could operate the enhancer. Renaissance is literally just Othello, yes. Just gave him cool names. Does, does the poll look okay? Does the other screenshots good? Hope they help. Okay, use Logic Hat on Cop. This person wouldn't take the Logic Hat. Okay. Thank you for voting. Looking forward to, to a, a being an eclectic stream. Everything that gets voted for will get played. For, you know, if we beat it in less than an hour, then we'll move on to the next game. And we'll use channel points if people want to skip to the next game, or even more channel points if people want to skip to a certain game in the voting. Ah, oh, we could play Janice Sisters. I've got it. Okay. When did uh, Janice Sisters come out? Yes, absolutely. California Games was later. It was more mid-80s, I think. Okay, use the ID card on the door. Well, look, there's, there's every opportunity. If the top eight or top ten we get through in less than eight hours, we can mix it up for sure. 1987? Oh, of course, it would have to be after Mario Brothers. So. Yes, is that if we if we finish the top eight or top ten in quick succession, which can happen with C sixty four. It could be very fast. Or if everybody votes next game, next game, next game, and we get through them, then who knows what we can do by the end of it. Okay, let's use Goldstone on the machine. When I put the Goldstone into the machine, a dazzling light envelops my body. Success! Let's see our status. <gasps> 100 HP! <laughs> if yes indeed let's kill the robot again oh, we, we, we're not getting money for killing the robot every time unfortunately we're going to go kill that bodyguard we're going to kill Mr. Hands Suddenly came out of nowhere. It's the director's bodyguard. He's what? How many dice do we get? Two, you beauty. Seven points of damage, okay. What's he got? Oh, he's got two. Oh, he's got three. I think we got 100 HP. I like this tune. <laughs> oh, oh no, I wasted the turn. Can't waste those turns. Come on. 
Oh dear, that's a big one. There's no point in looking at our HP. Oh, we could have gone and bought some Dissolian soda. I've been able to drink that for some health. Oh well. Come on. How many times do we have to hit this guy with an axe? We're still going. Oh, geez, he's kicking our ass. Should have bought some sodas. Oh, yeah, really should have bought some sodas. We've got 20 HP left. Oh, thank God. You're in trouble now, Baron. This is the director's office. Baron is seated on the other side of the desk. I'm amazed you've come this far. However, you'll not defeat me. The director suddenly disappeared. <gasps> what? There's a hole on the other side of the desk. This is what the director used to escape. It seems to be the lab. The director is standing before the machine. You want the key to Miller's cell? Fine. I don't need him now that the machine works. The director threw the key toward me. Got the key. When I took the key, the director laughed. Even though you have the key, you won't be able to save Miller. You're going to die right here. The director was surrounded by dazzling light. Oh shit, the machine was activated, but what's this? The director transformed into a monster. Was there a bug in the machine? The monster began to destroy everything in sight. Better escape while there's still a chance. Run away. Let's just go save Miller and get out of here. More music, I'm liking this. Very hectic. Use Jalki? Door? Nope, use Jalki on iron bars. <gasps> Cell open, the doctor emerged. Thank you, you saved my life. At that very moment, the building shook violently and the walls began to collapse. Something hit my head and I blacked out. Oh, it keeps happening. When I came to, I was in Lucero's cabin. Oh, you're awake. Baron Labs was destroyed by the monster. The doctor is safe, but that monster is approaching the rear of the cabin. What? Use this to destroy it. Lucero had to be a missile pod. Okay, we've got a rocket launcher. This is Resident Evil now. We've explored a lab. We've saved somebody who's kidnapped. The big bad guy turned into a monster, and now we're going to shoot a rocket at it. This is 100% Resident Evil. Uh, should we take it first? <laughs> He's a very fresh-faced, grey-haired man. <laughs> the monster is approaching the rear of the cabin. Use what? Missile. Aimed the missile at the enemy and fired. Oh, look at that. Oh, only 18 points, though. I hope we healed. I hope we got auto healed. Oh, geez. He's got. He's just as bad as the missiles. I blacked out. Use this if you're in trouble. Oh, my God. Okay. Now we're healed. Still got the, the missile. Hey, what's in? How are you doing? The monster is approaching the rear of the cabin. He already looks like Dark Force. That's a good point. I've died twice in this adventure game. Although I think the first de death was scripted.
He looks a bit like the, uh, the turtle, anim the tortoise enemy from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. He looks a bit like Razor. This is a very short game, it's looking like. That's right, I'm happy to have a short game after weeks and weeks of Fantasy Star 3. <laughs> this all sounds impressive, but much happening. Come on. This is Fantasy Star Adventure rather than Gaiden. I haven't hit done on this yet. <laughs> uh, and we went from Motavia to Dezolus. You start the game by getting on a, on a ship and going to the Zolas. <gasps> the monster fell to the ground with a resounding thud. Finally won. Several days later, I returned to Paseo. The Doctor, Lila and Lucera all came to the spaceport to see me off. Lila is smiling at me. Thanks for shooting me, motherfucker. He's smiling. He looks happy. She's looking at me warmly. I'm glad that's over with. Now I can sleep better. No, I've never played Garden, so. We're in uncharted territory for me twice. The machine amplifies not only the physical, but the heart as well. The director became a monster because that's what was in his heart. Thank you so much for rescuing my brother. <laughs> Take that fake beard off. Okay. Look around. I'm in the spaceport waiting for a flight back to Paseo. The Doctor, Lila, and... Personally, I played half an hour, but despite being a fan of the series, I didn't want to play it more. I watched a run on YouTube and made it a day. Well, if you hang around, you'll see it here. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the ruins of the lab. Keep it safe. Sarah grinned and tossed something toward me. See you later. Goodbye, Dezolus. The spaceship I'm on is bound for Paseo on Motavia. The gold stone which Lucero tossed to me as we parted shines faintly in the palm of my hand. The key to the machine that spawned that monster and yet it sparkled so beautifully around Lila's neck. Why did Lucero give it to me instead of Lila? Perhaps he was giving me a mission. When the danger of the stone being misused has passed, come back to the Zolus and give Lila the light of truth. Okay. I close my hand tightly around the stone. The end. That was it. We beat Fancy Star Adventure. <laughs> Sometimes you want an hour long game. So, I'm going to take a five second break just to go blow my nose, but then we'll jump into Fantasy Star. Garden. Uh, let me just stop the stream just for a second. I'll be right back. One, because my bitrate is shit house. <laughs> and two, that way the details will update and blah, 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 blah. 